always wear a helmet or pads. This may not look like a classroom, but these kids are definitely at school. Rails, ramps, pads and pivots. Yeah. Some of the tools and tricks needed to progress at the sidestep skateboarding school in Langford. Up, down, that's it. This converted warehouse space is aiming to build confidence among new skaters. Co-founder and teacher Debbie Kayum started the school last summer. It all started about four and a half years ago when my kids wanted to learn how to skateboard. So um, I said, sure, let's go, let's go do it, right? So we end up having to practice in uh, basketball courts and tennis courts. Debbie says a lot of kids are intimidated to learn how to skate at a skate park, especially when the pros are showing off because they feel they have to be so good in order to go there. So, um, so I did see this need. I saw all these little guys and they want to be able to do it, but they can't. You go that side, I'll go this side. Right on. Stephen Monroe helps run the school. He's been skateboarding since he was five years old. Says there's an infinite amount to learn in this activity, which is why he still skates after 26 years. Yeah, right on. To me, skateboarding is something in my life that really built a lot of strong friendships and a lot of confidence in my life as well. And um, it just puts people together from different walks of lifestyle that maybe would have never interacted together. And then, uh, you know, they have a common bond, something to do together. And uh, the camaraderie and sportsmanship that goes with it, that's what we're really trying to build here. Now you do have to skate at your own risk. On four wheels, you can often take a tumble, but that's no big deal for Gowan McFarland. Because it's a rough sport, it's, it's, it gives you a rush whenever you land a trick. It's, it's amazing. Tail stall grab. Right now, with the popularity of skateboarding being so deep in subculture, a lot of kids are really interested in it. There's not a lot of outlets for them safely to experiment with skateboarding, and this here gives them an opportunity to start off right from the beginning, even if they don't have a skateboard. We have skateboards for rent here, helmets for rent. And it's not just for the boys. On Thursday evenings, there's an all-girls class. Up. Rachel Hansen is getting to grips with skating on the big ramp. Down, bend of the knees, nice. Keep your feet over the bolts. Do you skate with the boys? Uh, yeah, a lot. <laughs> a lot of the time because lots of girls um, are interested, but are sort of afraid to try. I've had kids that have actually never been on a board before come in, and by the time they leave, they're riding around within one hour less than, and it just blows the parents away. They're just watching this, they're like, wow, they learn so quickly. Everybody can just drop their kids off, and you can learn how to skate, and it's just fun. They focus on you and what's what you're doing wrong and what you're doing right, and they, and they, and they say. What are you doing wrong? <laughs> Nothing, I'm amazing. Reported from Langford for The Daily, I'm James Green.